This is going to be an introduction to Microsoft Publisher. It is not going to be an icon on your desktop. You'll find it one of two ways. You can either find it on the Start menu. I use mine often enough that it's there. You might need to go into All Programs in Microsoft Office and then find Publisher. It's the P that's kind of the turquoise. When you open it up, it comes to this screen, so it automatically wants to know how you want to, what type of document you want to create. There are a lot of different templates that we will be looking at as we go through. You'll notice there is one that says import Word documents. Uh, they come in as pictures, so we can't just drag a Word document in. We're going to start with just a very basic plain document. This one will be an 8.5 by 11, so click that one to open it. You will notice right away that you come in looking at a view that's um, reduced down from 100%. This is the really the way you look at a um, publication like this. These are more called publisher or publications rather than documents. Um, the finished product can look like a Word document, but the production of that document is a little bit different. So this is a desktop publishing view. It's a little bit different than what we're used to. By default, you always have your rulers at the top and the bottom, but you'll notice as you move your cursor along, there's a, there's a line that follows you on the horizontal and vertical ruler because it is real important to know where you are when you're working with text and other items um, in your document. There aren't as many ribbons across the top as there are in Word, but you will, of course, recognize many of the things that are here because there are some very, very similar things. However, um, drawing a text box is, has been moved on well, this whole um, section of objects has been moved to the home ribbon because you use them quite a bit more in Publisher. When you go down to the document itself, you'll notice you can't click and type. You don't have a cursor. Nothing is put on a Publisher document without a text box. So that's one of the reason, main reasons that the text box is on the home page. When you click the text box, you get a little arrow, and then you can draw a box any size and shape you want. I'll put mine in a small box, fairly small. To move them around, you drag them back and forth. You do, by uh, default, have these rulers around the edge for your document, but that doesn't mean you have to stay with them. So once you get that text box on the page, I'm going to just put some text on here that I will copy and paste multiple times. Looks like I've got a typo right there. And the view of, is a little bit further out than we're used to. I'm going to just paste it several times, actually long enough to go outside my box. If I want to look at this more in um, the 100% view, I can always use the button down at the bottom, or I can hit F9 on my top row of my keyboard. The F9 increases it up to the 100%. So I have a text box here, but you'll notice, or when you were typing, we ran out of room. I can do a couple of things. I can just bring the text box down to pick up more text. You st uh, I still don't have all of it. And the reason I know I don't have all of it is these three little dots right here that indicates there is more text. So I will draw a second text box because I need to put this text in there. Go back to the first one. I'm going to click right on top of that little box and it gives me, it looks like a picture full of text. And that's a loaded text icon and I can click in there and put the rest of the text. By doing it that way, these two boxes are linked together. So if you'll watch, I'm going to bring this text box up and it makes that one come down because the text box is really one 
one object that's linked together. You can move it from page to page. We'll continue more in the next video.